Today I want to talk about gas prices. So let's talk about gas prices. You know, they're, they're really high. They are. I got a gas guzzler here myself. Uh, it takes quite a bit to move the whole family around. And admittedly, this is probably, you know, way more vehicle than we need. We sure like the, the big truck. And that's why we're willing to pay for the fuel. In the not so distant past, right after the turn of the century, way back in the day, gasoline was 475 under George W. Bush. 475. In today's terms, that would be somewhere in the range of seven dollars for a gallon. But that was when the Republicans had an energy policy, right? George Bush is going to give us an energy policy? Is that what he did? But once again, if the Democrats had to build the Republicans out on that deal, they can't even get the damn story straight. Trump spent the last five years claiming that he brought America energy independence. No, I'm sorry, you stupid idiots. Donald Trump didn't bring America into energy independence. That happened under Barack Obama. Hate to break your bubble. But pop, it's just not true. You guys will believe anything. Gas is high right now. And it's obvious that it's due to a war in Ukraine and inflation all around the world. But you people seem to believe that gas was down to two dollars under Donald Trump when they literally couldn't give it away here in Texas. They were having to store it in trucks and wherever else they could. My God, at one point, they would actually pay you 40 bucks just to take a 55 gallon barrel off their hands. You get to keep the oil and the money. That was under the last Republicans wonderful energy policy. And it is true that we paid very, very little in gas, but it did require the entire world's economy to be tanked. And of all the industrialized countries in the world, none lost a higher percentage than the United States of America. We lost people on a grand scale. Hell, we invented the damn vaccines and the masks that kept the shit at bay. And yet. You gonna blame that on Biden too? You gonna blame January 6th on Biden? Mark my words, people. You can obfuscate you can change the subject. You can what about ism us to death. But your little fashionista bullshit is no longer gonna fly with the American people. Y'all are gonna get annihilated in the next election. And I do mean annihilated. Mark my words. Zachariah Lone Star Liberal has said it today. We are gonna gain seats in the House. We're gonna gain seats in the Senate. Joe Biden's gonna get reelected. And thank God. Thank God. That we'll never, ever have Donald Trump in the White House again. Praise Jesus. Thank God.